Hello everyone, welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we are doing a tutorial on how to extrude, specifically just that. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's look at it right here in Blender. Uh, I'm going to add a shape first because there are no shapes in here. So let me just uh, move this up one step. There we go. All right. So um, the basics of extruding. Let me show you how to extrude a face. Because right now I have faces, face select selected. Uh, if you have, if you open Blender, you should, if you open Blender, if you open Blender, you should see this. Where you can select edges, faces, or vertices. And there's, you can extrude any way at all, as long as you have a face selected. Or, yeah, it has to be a face. So, let's just say we select this top face with by right clicking it. And then we just press E on the keyboard. Bam. Now it's initiated. It's don't click at all because if you click it will set that or it will make it go back. So just don't press any buttons on your mouse. Just press E. As soon as you press E, do not press anything on the mouse if you want to move it. But if you want to keep it there, you don't move the mouse. You just press escape or you can press right the right button on the mouse and that will place it back but I don't know why you want to do that because that will just overlap all these vertices and it might cause problems later on more than likely it will cause problems uh, with your mesh but sometimes it doesn't so it just depends on what the situation is but I added a subsurf modifier that's why it looks like this so I'm going to turn it, turn it back off not to uh, so not to confuse you so as not to confuse you I press E and drag it up, so you can see if I move the mouse up, it will move the object up and down, whichever way I want to move it. So if I left click, it places the face in the position you left it, the last place. Um, if I right click, it goes back into position. So um, I'm not sure if there's another way, I've, I haven't used the, these menus here as much as the keyboard because I just, I've just learned to use the keyboard and it really helps speed up things when you're modeling. You can just extrude, scale, extrude, just keep extruding things if you need to. Depending on what you're making, this isn't really anything at all that I'm making. I'm just showing you an example of extruding. So I can select all the faces, drag them in. There we go. Awesome. I can extrude these in. What I did was I extrude it and then I scale it in and then I extrude downwards on the z-axis. So I extrude, scale it in, extrude down. So yeah, that's basically, that's extruding. You can extrude on any object. You can extrude on a cube. You can extrude on a sphere. Sphere has a lot more faces when I added it. This sphere specifically, or the sphere because I didn't change any options which you can change when you add it. But you can extrude here, extrude in, extrude out, scale in, extrude out. So E is the is the key for extrude because E extrude starts with an E. So that's what I always think of when I'm doing modeling, 3D modeling. That's why I, I first thought of it. E is for extrude, G is for grab, R is for rotate. Those are some those are just the basic keys for moving. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of extruding. That is basically, I don't know if there really is even a basics. I don't know if there should be a basics of, of extruding pretty much. I guess it is, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, please leave a like. Show that you like it. You truly like it. Thank you guys for watching all my tutorials. I noticed that you liked the last tutorial I did a lot, and that was awesome. Thank you guys. Keep the likes. And thank you again. <laughs> so see you next time. Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. My name is Brennan and today you're going to be learning how to create an audio visualizer that I'm actually coming up with and I haven't released yet, but I will release it soon. Probably, maybe even Wednesday, maybe even, I don't know, this week probably. So let's get into it.
let's open Blender and let's start it. Okay, so what I did was I, um, first of all, I added a circle. So what we need to do is go into front view after, let's just go into front view, press five on the keyboard. Let's press shift A to add a circle. Let's rotate this circle 90 degrees on the X axis. And what I did was I selected every other vertice. So there's one selected, one not selected like this. 